Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is install a website as an app. The new Microsoft Edge web browser, which is now based on the open source Chromium engine, includes the ability to turn any website into an app. Why would you want to turn a website into an app? It's true that many apps that we use are little more than websites in a wrapper. And with the latest web technologies, websites can act very much like apps do. They can cache the user interface to run faster, they can personalize to your needs, they can track your location, and they can annoy you with notifications. But a website can sometimes get lost in the web browser interface. It's always underneath the browser address bar and the toolbar, and it's probably one of dozens of tabs that you have open in your browser at any time. So it would be nice to have a direct way to get that website as an app. This is especially true on Windows where many developers don't bother to make their apps available through the Windows Store. But now we can turn a website into an app ourselves, cutting out the need for the store altogether. To install a website as an app on your Surface, open the new Microsoft Edge browser. Go to the website that you want to use, click on the three dot menu, and point to apps. Click on install website as an app. The website will now open in its own dedicated window without the browser interface. On the window start menu, you'll see the app appear in the programs list, and you can pin it to your start menu or to your taskbar. Now that you can run that website as an app directly from its own shortcut, it's no longer lost in your sea of browser tabs. It's in its own window, and any notifications that come from this website will appear as coming from the app itself. So they're easy to turn on and off for that specific app. Okay, so we've turned a website into an app. But is a website really the same as an app? Well, sort of, and maybe. For some websites, you'll see a pop-out message in the address bar when you visit them saying that an app is available. If you see this, then the website you're visiting is purpose-built to be an app because it's a progressive web app or a PWA. A PWA is an app. In fact, many of the apps that you download from the Windows Store and even the store on your mobile device are actually progressive web apps or PWAs. The recent Twitter and Instagram apps on Windows are two examples of PWAs that you'll find in the Microsoft Store. You can also install PWAs through Google Chrome. You'll see a prompt to install when you visit a website that has a PWA. Even without being a PWA, many modern websites can do things that apps can. They can run directly on your device, they can be personalized to you, they can use your location and even your cameras with your permission, of course. They're usually well optimized for touch and sometimes even for pen input. But PWAs can run just like apps do on your device even when you're not online. Here's some examples of PWAs that you can install on your Windows 10 device. We'll put some links to these in the description below. Twitter, like I said before, this one's available through the Windows Store, or you can just visit the website in your browser and install the app. It's actually the same app. Outlook.com, it's come a long way in recent years in Office 365. It now supports dragging and dropping emails. For example, I could drag an email from my inbox over to my calendar or task list, just like I could do in the desktop version of Outlook. So on Windows, there's now lots of good email options, not just Outlook on the desktop or the inbuilt mail app. Now you can even use Outlook.com as an app on your device too. The Office app. This is a handy dashboard app for Office 365 users. You can install it from the Windows Store or just directly through your browser in Microsoft Edge because it's a PWA. It shows all of your recent docs in OneDrive and it gives you easy access to all of the Office 365 apps. Sketch.io is a pretty interesting online drawing app. It can be installed directly on your device as a PWA. Spotify. The Spotify web player can be installed as an app. And this is a good option for the Surface Pro X where the desktop Spotify client can be a little bit sluggish. Uber. It's been a while since I've had to call an Uber this year but it's nice to have an option on my Surface just in case I need to. Ultimate Guitar is a fantastic guitar tab app that's been around forever and it's now available on Windows because it's also a PWA. Pinterest, I don't really use Pinterest, but there is a PWA for it, so check it out at the Pinterest website. 
Google Photos is one of the few PWAs that Google have created from their suite of apps. It's a bit strange because Google really led the introduction of PWAs, but they haven't created many of their own. For example, unlike Outlook.com, Gmail doesn't have a PWA, nor does Google Docs. It's a shame really, although you could still install them as apps through the Microsoft Edge browser. Starbucks never made it really big here in Australia. We have very particular coffee tastes down under, and their initial push to set up Starbucks stores everywhere kind of fell flat. There are a few Starbucks stores here though, but I know that it's on every street corner in the US, so this will be handy for those who are in the US to be able to get the Starbucks app on your Surface. The 2048 game. In poking around on the web, I found this developer who created the 2048 game as a PWA. We'll leave a link with all of these in the description below. Sound Slice. In doing research for this video, I found a number of PWA lists and Sound Slice caught my attention. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks to be quite an interesting music learning app, so that's probably worth looking at too. Google News also has a PWA that you can use on your Surface. This is kind of interesting because many of the new sites open in the Google News PWA as mobile sites, so it's quite a good option for reading the news on your Surface. Beyond PWAs, here are some handy regular websites that I have installed as an app to give you some ideas. Tinkercad is a simple 3D design tool from Autodesk. It works really well with touch on Surface, and the large screen and proper mouse support on Surface really lend themselves to this kind of app. It's far better here than on a smaller tablet. Even though it's not a PWA, it's great to get the browser interface out of the way and reclaim some design space. The Kindle Cloud Reader. Unfortunately, Amazon's PC-based Kindle Reader app is just garbage. It's a clunky mouse and keyboard app that looks like it was designed in 1985. It's an embarrassment to Amazon and it's the sole reason that I started buying eBooks on Kobo. Fortunately, the web reader for Kindle is not too bad although you'll need to be connected to get started with your Kindle reading. The Bureau of Meteorology. I've installed the Australian Government Weather Service website as an app. It's handy to have a quick shortcut to it for us here in Melbourne because one of our favorite things to do is to talk about the weather. We're famous down here for our four seasons in one day. So there's a quick list of PWAs and websites that you can install as apps on your Surface. One of the cool things about using a Windows 10 device as a tablet is that you don't have to be restricted to only getting apps from the store. Now you can run Windows that way if you want, but you have the choice. You can now get apps through the store, download them from company websites, or install PWAs and websites as apps through your browser. Let us know if there's a PWA or a website that you would add to the list in the comments below. And if you found this tip helpful, hit like, but also share it with your friends and colleagues too. Remember to subscribe for more weekly tips like this one here.